Oh, got a flat tyre. Bit of a flatty. All right, guys and girls, this is the Pixel Lark X wireless mic system. And today, I'm going to have a look at it and see if it's any good. So when Pixel asked me to review the Lark X, first thing I thought was, that looks quite neat, because it does look quite neat. So I'm just going to put some specs on the screen now while I talk a bit more about the Pixel Lark X, rather than just reeling them off. It gets a bit boring. Now, the two big selling points about the Pixel Lark X are the charging case, which it comes in, which charges the two mics and the receiver, and also the noise reduction option that is incorporated into the mics that you can switch on or off. First glance, it looks like a nice little wireless mic. Now the frequency response on this is only 100 hertz to 10 kilohertz, which isn't the full range at all, but it is the perfect sort of range for vocal audio, which is all you would ever use this for. You're not gonna be recording guitars or anything with this thing. It's just designed for on the go vlogging, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this mic now. Ah, that's the wrong one. Okay, so the audio that you're now listening to is coming directly from this here little recorder that I've just attached to myself, the Pixel Lark X. So this is what the audio sounds like straight from the recorder. Now I've got quite a loud fan in my office, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get quite close to the fan and I'm just going to tap the noise reduction on which you do just by hitting the red button on the microphone then the light on the microphone goes yellow there's an indicator on the receiver that also goes yellow and now you're hearing the microphone with the noise reduction on and so this is with the noise reduction on click the button again this is with the noise reduction off okay so that's what the noise reduction does in the studio or indoor environment. But we're gonna go and test it outside as well, so stick around for that and you can see what the noise reduction does outside. I unboxed it earlier. Let's see everything that came in the box. Now you get the user manual. You also get this nice little case, it's padded. There's enough room for all your leads that come with the Pixel Lark X, as well as the charging case quite nicely made so that's quite nice that it comes with one of those inside the protective case you've got the charger case okay so this is where your two microphones live on the front of the case you've got a three battery indicator so you can see what's going on with your charging case okay hold it down to see how much the charge of the actual case is and then you press it once you can see that it's charging the microphone on the left hand side. This case is quite nice, it's sort of plastic metallic, the lid's plastic, but it feels quite well made and it does feel like it would protect whatever's inside, so that's the case. Also get loads of cables, okay, so you get TRS cables, two of those I think. There's one already going from the receiver into my camera. Get a couple of those, you get a TRRS cable. You also get Two of these little antennas which connect to the actual microphone and give you more range. I'll go a bit more into that in a little while. So you get two of those. You get the USB-C cable to charge the charging case. That just slots in the side of the charging case so you can charge that up. USB-C to USB-C cable. A USB-C to USB adapter. Also got a small headphone jack to large headphone jack. I'm not quite sure why you need that. So you can monitor your audio direct from the Lark X receiver. Uh, it's got a little headphone jack in the middle on the bottom, but it's just a normal small headphone jack, so I don't know why you'd need that adapter. But I am always losing these, so thank you Pixel, because that will come in handy, thanks. And the other cable you get, which is probably the one that a lot of you will, will need or want to use, is the cable that connects the Lark X receiver to your iPhone or iPad. The lightning bolt adapter on the other end just slots into the Lark X receiver. What you can also do is you can daisy chain the receivers. I think you can daisy chain up to nine together so you can get 18 microphones all recording in tandem. Not sure why you'd want or need to do that, but if you're in a conference or something and you want to mic everyone up, then you do have that option, so. When you get the mics out of the case, they should link automatically to your receiver, but you can change the channels on 
the receiver as well. The display on the receiver is nice, nice and big, easy to read. And the receiver just slots onto the top of your camera using a little clip. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it out to so stick around. We're going to test the range on it, test the noise reduction outside. Then we'll come back and I'll give you my conclusions. So let's head out. Okay, so we're just going to take the mic out, test the range on it, just see how it performs outside. Now, the battery charge on the mic itself is about four hours. Now, I'm not going to be able to test it out today. I'm going to take their word for it, but it does say four hours full charge, okay? Now, you can also plug these mics back into the case and then charge them another two times on a full charge of the case. So, if you're going somewhere remote, if your mic runs out of charge, you can just plug it back into the case twice you can fully charge your mic again which I think is an awesome little feature. It takes about 90 to 120 minutes to charge the to fully charge the mics from the case which is okay. The case itself takes about 80 minutes to charge via the USB-C cable. All of those charge times and battery times I think are pretty decent for a mic with these specs. So I'm just gonna test the range on it. I've got my one wheel, have a bit of a scoot round, just have a bit of fun, just see how it performs. Okay, while, I, while I've got you in the car, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whack on my fan. See, it's quite loud. And I'm just gonna test out the noise reduction on this mic. So this is without the noise reduction, and we're gonna switch it on. Just by pressing the red button, you'll see the light goes yellow, and now the noise reduction is on. Press the red button noise reduction off. You can see it change on the actual receiver as well, so there's a yellow light comes on the receiver when the noise reduction is on, which I'll do now. So this is what the noise reduction is doing to the fan. We're at my destination. Okay, so now we've got our Lark X plugged on top of my other camera. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick range test. Okay, so I've got the little antenna attached, so that should give me a range of about 100 metres, they say. Now, this bit of road is about 100 metres, so I'm going to go up to the end and we'll see if you can still hear me. Okay, so you should still be able to hear me fine at the moment, but as I ride away, obviously there is something between me and the camera now, so I might cut out. Anyway, I'm going to go about 100 metres. Okay, so this is around 100 metres. So if you can still hear me here, then this is doing its job. Okay, what I'm going to do, as I ride back, I am going to stick on the noise reduction to see what that does. Okay, so the noise reduction is now on, and I'm on my way back with the noise reduction. This is the noise reduction on. Okay, so that's what it does. This is the noise reduction off. Okay, and this is the noise reduction on again. So there we go. That's our 100 metre test. Now have a listen to the results, see what it says. An excuse. All right, so we've done all our distance tests and all that sort of thing. I've had a quick burn on the one wheel, get home, have a listen back and see what we all think. So, catch you in a bit. Okay, so what do we think about the Pixel Lark X? You've heard the audio, all the audio from the Pixel Lark X hasn't been processed at all, it's straight out of the microphone, so you can make your own decisions on the audio. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Here's what I think. Wireless lav mics and small recorders like this, in general, don't sound the best. Unless you're going to be paying $300, £300 plus for a lav mic, you're always going to get a little bit of noise with these microphones. They do generally have a bit of a noise floor, which this one does as well, but no worse than a lot of other wireless microphones that I've tried. There's a few little crackles here and there, which isn't ideal, but I did find, as soon as I added the little antenna to the bottom of the wireless mic, 
the audio instantly improved. There was no crackling at all. You could, you could just use the antenna all the time. And if it's underneath your shirt, you won't even see it. So maybe that's an option, just to make sure that you don't get any crackles or anything like that. Uh, noise reduction. I don't think it really works indoors, and I don't think you generally need it in an indoor environment. Unless you're somewhere very loud where you really do need to get rid of some background noise. The noise reduction may help you out on those occasions, but otherwise you can hear it's a little bit choppy, um, which is what it's designed to do. It's designed to cut out certain frequencies, which does interfere with your vocal. Outdoors, I thought it worked a little bit better. When I was outside driving, took a lot of the noise of the car away. So maybe in those environments, it might be worth using the noise reduction. It's definitely a good feature to have, is what I'm trying to say. It's not perfect, but it will make your audio sound better in certain situations. You might need to experiment with it a bit to work out best situations to use it in. It does take away some of the high frequencies, so there's not as much clarity to your vocal. Range is pretty much what they say it is. 20 meters without the antenna and about 40 meters with the antenna. If you're a bit of a distance away, if you've got anything in between the microphone and the receiver, then you will get some cutouts. Yeah, reasonable distance on these things. I like this charging case, I think it's great. It's cool that you can stick your microphones in there and fully charge them twice without having to charge your case again. And as they last four hours of charge, that's four, eight, 12 hours. So that's pretty good. It's a neat little setup, I'd say. Who's it for? I would say predominantly vlogging. You've got the option to plug it into your phone possibly for interviews. Now, what's the price of this thing? So this whole, whole set sits around the $190 mark, so about £136. Obviously, the comparison for this would be the Rode Wireless Go 2, because that's got two transmitters on one receiver. And that comes in around £189, $240-odd. So you're looking at a 50 £60 pound or dollar difference between the Pixel Lark X and the Rode Wireless Go. So the difference isn't massive. With the Rode Wireless Go 2, you don't get this cool charging case. There are advantages to this one, and there are advantages to the Rode microphone as well. It really is a preference thing. But these are slightly cheaper. You're saving yourself $50. It is a nice little microphone kit, and you can judge for yourself the audio quality because you've heard it. Thank you to Pixel for sending me the Lark X to review for you guys. I do hope you found this useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. It makes me feel better about myself. I do like it when people give me the old thumbs up. But even if you give me a thumbs down, it's still shoots me at the algorithm. So that kind of works as well. But I'd rather a, a thumbs up if you can. Um, if you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel for more gear reviews, Premiere Pro tutorials, anything filmmaking really, building a bit of a community. Subscribers are going up nicely, but it's always nice to get some new faces on board. If you do have any questions regarding this, leave them in the comments below. I'll read and reply to every comment. Um, it'd be really nice to get some feedback from you guys. So yeah, there's the Pixel Lark X and I'll catch you in the next video.